What is going on YouTube? Welcome to yet another brand new video. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Gilly Nova and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install your brand new 4070 Super Ti graphics card onto your computer. So if you have any questions throughout this video, leave a comment below, hit the like button if you guys like this video, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. All right, let's get this video started. This one is a big boy. Oof. Look at this beauty, guys. So I'm gonna give you a little rundown right here on the side. This is going to be going outside of your computer case. So as you can see right here, we have three display ports and one HDMI. This right here on the very bottom, remove this plastic and then you should connect that onto your motherboard. It should be really easy. Just push down until you hear it click. And on the other side, you should see a connection for your PSU. This one right here is a 12 pin and it comes with this cable connector inside your purchase. And honestly guys, it should be really easy. Just connect it like this. There's really only one way. Once that's connected, you'll have these two eight pins that you need to connect to your PSU, which should be also really simple, which I'll show you in the following video. Alrighty YouTube, so this is my current case. This is my 3070. We are now going to remove our old graphics card. But before we do anything, touch something metal so it neutralizes yourself. Otherwise, your computer may not work. So first things first, we're going to remove our old graphics card. Okay, so I'm gonna do an example again. Push the latch down on the very top. There so should only be one latch and it should come up fairly easily like that. So just to recap, there should be a latch on the very top. If you're trying to remove it, push the latch down and then pull your graphics card. If you wanna place your graphics card in, push your graphics card really hard and then you should hear a latch connecting to it. So now let's go try it with our 4070. Make sure that the pins are aligned to the motherboard. Once it's aligned, just push down until you hear a click. And as I mentioned earlier, your box should come with this 12 pin connecting to two eight pins. Let's go connect that again. Very top, should be very easy. Once that's connected, connect your two eight pins from your PSU to your graphics card. So in this case, this is how mine looks like. I'm just gonna connect them together, should be very easy. And for my case, I have a six plus two pin. You can easily connect this as well. You may also have an eight pin also. It also doesn't matter which way you do it as long as it's connected. All right, YouTube, and there you have it. Now you have your PSU and your graphics card connected together. Just hide these cables, make sure it's not hitting any fans. And let's turn on our computer and download some drivers. All right, YouTube, so now that we have our computer turned on, we're gonna go to NVIDIA's website. We're gonna go to drivers. GeForce drivers, click on that. Then just select download now. And then once that's downloaded, we're gonna open up our file. You can see right here, it's downloading right now. Um, agree and install. So it's gonna take some time. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna select drivers, download. And as you can see here, it was recently released. Today it is December 7th. All right, YouTube, so as you can see on my screen right here, the graphics card driver successfully installed. All you need to do now is to restart your computer and everything should be good to go. So if you thought this video was very helpful for you, please hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or you can reach me on Instagram at Gleanova. Until next time, YouTube, stay gold.